Um, as a producer, you need to know how to market, and that comes with everything from emailing to customer service. Um, I that that took me from a like you know making maybe four to five grand a month to like twenty grand a month because you once you learn how to actually build with people and, and treat your you know I'll say potential customers like you work in a studio. Say I'm a music producer, I'm not just a beat maker, so I'm used to working in studios with artists. You got to treat everybody that comes through you like your website or whatever same way you want to introduce yourself tell your story relate to them and i think that's the number one thing that as a producer you should learn marketing because that's what's going to take you to that next level and be able to do this as a sustainable income so a hundred percent so then with that being said what is or what are some of your tips or one major tip to making marketing make sense for your beat store um retargeting 100% is so uh, most people that visit your site and you're going to you're probably going to get like maybe 3%, 1 to 3% of people are they actually going to buy right when they hit your beat site. That's just how that's just how the world is. But retargeting is basically, you know, setting up something where you you, you can even run an ad or whatever or even an email to say, you know, hey, I know you're on my website, here's, you know, even give them a discount or just introduce yourself and start a, you know, start a conversation. And then, you know, most of the time they'd be like, oh, yeah, I was at your site. I really love those beats. And I'm like, yeah, let me go back and grab those beats I was looking at. Um, and and, and, I, and you don't have to do paid advertisement through retargeting. That could be like your email. Like, I think the number one um, way that I like to do retargeting is by giving away free beats on BeatStars because you can integrate it with your email. And then by that, you can start a whole conversation with somebody just by doing that. So I think that's the number one way is retargeting. Okay, I hope you guys wrote that down. <laughs> um, 18, what about you? What's one um, solid marketing tip that you would have um, for making sense of your beat stores? I mean, I know you specifically cross-reference between your YouTube and your, your store, but maybe you have a main tip. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, a main tip will probably be staying really active on all social medias and just trying to uh, like when you make a bid, try to get it uh, to as many people as possible. I feel like if you make just making a story of you making that bid or just going live on Instagram, you generate like traction and people will be interest, interested in like uh, see how that bid uh, turns out or like listening to the final bid. What I do is also I like, try to uh, make some quick like videos to post like on Instagram of uh, me making beats basically and just like um, editing a couple of different shots of me making beats and uh, I feel like that's a pretty like cool and creative way to like generate traction and uh, yeah I feel like that that's the that's the that's the what I do at least yeah I think that's um I think those are both from the both of you amazing tips I think there's um, it, within both of what you said there's this social interaction element and that's the networking that we talk about ever so often on this show where you have to make yourself available in some capacity. I think for 18, for your process, it's, it's like casting a large net. And I think that you can gain a lot of traction across multiple channels this way. And then with Wish, you're holding on to the people who are actually like sh showing direct interest. 